We have a shared passion, a desire to transform healthcare. Continue on to discover how we are helping to connect mothers, babies, and families with caregivers like yourself in ways you have always imagined. From an expectant mother's first visit to her OB office to the days after mother and baby leave the hospital, GE's combined offering assists healthcare professionals in supporting the specialized needs of patients and families across the entire maternal infant care continuum. Welcome to GE Healthcare, maternal infant care reimagined. This in-service video is designed to help you better understand the use of the Giraffe Incubator. It is not intended to replace the owner's manual. Please refer to the manual for cautions, warnings, alarm codes, and other detailed information before using the Giraffe Incubator. Product Overview NICU patients have special needs. To help you meet those needs, the Giraffe Incubator provides the perfectly controlled environment plus an array of developmentally focused features so that you can optimize care. The Giraffe Incubator gives you improved access to the infant for better patient care. Special design features help you provide protection from nuisance touch and sound and carefully manage the lights surrounding the baby. The system's exceptional thermal performance enables you to create the best environment for the baby's well-being and development. The centrally mounted display may be easily seen from anywhere around the incubator. Featuring a control panel that can be accessed from either side of the incubator, you can access the controls and alarm silence button without disturbing a family member who may be at the bedside. In fact, all controls can be operated from either side of the bed. To ease caregiving, the incubator features full-size doors and portholes on both sides giving greater access options without having to disturb a family member or disturb the infant. The access doors drop down for quick and easy entry on both sides of the bed. Access and care are even easier with the incubator's extra-wide mattress, which slides out either side. The new patented Baby Susan rotating mattress lets you rotate the baby without disturbing nesting materials or patient lines. The mattress can even be tilted smoothly and comfortably without taking your hands out of the incubator chamber. The incubator's audible alarm speaker is located in the base to minimize nuisance noise for the patient and you can manually adjust the alarm volume for your convenience. The alarm light is located outside the baby's field of vision, but can be easily viewed by attending staff. An integrated x-ray tray helps minimize disturbance to the infant during an x-ray procedure, and the large, clear hood facilitates overhead x-raying. The elevating base rises high enough for standing caregivers and prolonged procedures yet it descends low enough for seated care and for family members to sit comfortably and interact with their newborn. Power up and pre-warm. As with any warming device, the giraffe incubator should be powered up and preheated before a baby is admitted. After plugging in the incubator, be sure the main circuit breaker on the rear of the unit is on. Next, turn on the power switch, located on the left side of the probe panel. As the unit powers up, the microprocessor controller will perform a self-diagnostic test. If powered off for less than two hours, the unit will ask if you would like to clear the patient history. Select Yes only if a new baby is to be admitted. Upon power up, the incubator defaults to manual control. The temperature display will blink and tones will sound until an air temperature is selected. Once an air temperature is selected, allow time for the incubator to warm up to the desired air set point. Thermal display and controls. You'll find operation of the giraffe incubator to be intuitive. Since the controls and displays parallel existing incubators, the new giraffe incubator should be very easy to use. 
The left side of the control panel is dedicated to thermal controls and displays. Increase and decrease buttons change control set temperature. If you need temperature settings above 37 degrees, the greater than 37 degree override button allows an air setting up to 39 degrees or a baby control temperature up to 37.5 degrees. To the right are the mode controls and indicators. The giraffe incubator may be used in either baby control or air control mode. Indicator lights next to the mode button show the present control mode of the incubator. Temperature displays are located just to the right of the control buttons. The large number at the top is the baby's skin temperature measured at the patient probe. The baby control set temperature is displayed in smaller numerals directly below. The lower display is used for air control mode. The large number is the air temperature inside the incubator, while the smaller number below is the air control set temperature. The incubator normally operates in whisper quiet mode, gently circulating warm air within the hood. If either door is opened for access, pressing the Boost Air Curtain button increases the fan speed. Boosting the air curtain helps keep the warm air inside the incubator during procedural access. Once the procedure is complete, the Boost Air Curtain may be deactivated, or after 20 minutes, the fan automatically returns to Whisper Quiet mode. On the right side of the control panel is the Accessory and Options display. The top of the screen is reserved for alarm prompts, where a detailed description of the alarm condition is displayed. The center is an options control and general information area, while the bottom is reserved for optional patient identification. Press the selector knob to activate the accessory and options control screen. Turn the knob to scroll through various options and press to make the selection. The first icon is a Help menu. To assist with defining alarm prompts, control functions, and other useful information. If an alarm sounds, you can find additional information about the alarm condition in the Help menu. Select Help. The screen may suggest causes or remedies for the current alarm condition. Selecting the Timer icon activates a digital timer. The timer may be started and stopped with each press of the knob. APGAR tones may also be activated or deactivated. Trending allows historical reference to patient temperatures, air temperatures, and set points during the last 96-hour period. Humidifier levels and control modes can also be trended. The Comfort Zone uses the baby's weight, gestational age, and days since birth to calculate a suggested starting air temperature. Please note, this start temperature is only a suggestion, so the caregiver must manually set the actual air set point. The Setup screen can be used to set Celsius or Fahrenheit displays, alarm controls, lock the elevating base foot pedals, and other configurations. Patient information such as name and birth date can also be entered. All settings return to default settings at power down. The biomedical engineer can change these default settings. Other integrated options such as an in-bed scale and servo humidifier also can be controlled through this screen. If your incubator has these options, please refer to the appropriate manual for more detailed information about their operation. Admitting. If you wish to monitor the baby's skin temperature, you'll need to attach a skin temperature probe. Both disposable and reusable probes are available. For accurate temperature readings, use only Omeda Medical skin temperature probes with the giraffe incubator. For reusable probes, the metallic side must be placed against the baby's skin. When attaching any probe, the sensor tip must come into full contact with the baby's skin to obtain accurate readings. Always use a reflective probe patch to attach probe tips securely. Next, plug the patient probe into the probe panel socket number one. The baby's temp will now appear at the top of the display. Socket two 
is reserved for monitoring a second temperature site or monitoring a twin. If you prefer to use air control mode, you should refer to the comfort zone chart for a suggested air temperature. Use the increase and decrease arrows to set the temperature. If you prefer to use baby control mode, enter an appropriate set temperature. Please note that baby control cannot be used if a second probe is used. You can select baby control only with a single probe attached to socket number one. Once admission procedures are complete, the incubator will continue to provide thermal support. Infant access. The incubator provides flexibility and ease in patient access. For routine care, large gumdrop-shaped portholes give access on either side and the front end panel. Large access doors are featured on both sides of the bed. If a family member is in front of one door, you can still access or remove the baby using the second door. To gain added access when seated, you can remove the doors with a push of a button. To replace the doors, simply press the button and replace the doors. The large 19-inch by 26-inch mattress may be pulled out either side. As a safety precaution, the bed will not slide out if tilted. Always level the bed before pulling out. The Baby Susan rotating mattress may be rotated 360 degrees in either direction. Intubating or IV access is much easier with the mattress pulled out and rotated. Convenience features and accessories. In addition to providing critical care support to the baby, the giraffe incubator has several developmental and caregiver convenience features. An integrated x-ray cassette tray minimizes the stress of lifting the baby onto a cold x-ray cassette. The tray may be pulled out from either side of the bed. Grid lines on the tray help properly position the x-ray cassette. An internally controlled tilt function gives smooth and continuous Trendelenburg or reverse Trendelenburg angles. You don't have to remove your hands from the baby's clean environment to operate an external tilt. Simply squeeze the lever with one hand while holding the baby with the other. Notice the portholes are not cut off at full tilt angles. To level, squeeze the tilt lever and bring the top surfaces flush. Twelve tubing grommets are provided at the four corners. In addition, a large tubing access slot is located in the center of the head panel for ventilator tubes and probe leads. Below the bed are three chest tube hangers and a large pass-through drawer with sliding tray. Accessory outlets on the rear of the unit provide additional power for observation lights, phototherapy, and other giraffe accessories. A dovetail rail mounting system supplies mounting locations for shelves, IV poles, phototherapy lights, observation lights, and other accessories. Please refer to the Omida Medical Accessories Catalog or ask your Omida Medical representative for more details. Factory installed options. Your giraffe incubator also may be equipped with any combination of factory installed options. Humidification may be supplied with a servo-controlled humidifier. To use the humidifier, scroll to the humidifier icon on the Accessory and Options menu and enter the percent of relative humidity desired between 30 and 95 percent. The servo humidifier displays the set point to the left and the actual relative humidity to the right. An add water alarm will activate if the water level in the reservoir becomes low. To refill, tilt out the water reservoir and add demineralized water or distilled water. Then replace the reservoir to continue humidification. Tap water is not recommended since mineral deposits will shorten the humidifier life. To take a weight with the optional in-bed scale, always level the bed first. Scroll to Scale in the Accessories and Options menu and select Weigh.
The scale will initialize and then instruct you to lift the baby. Lift the baby as little as needed to clear the bed surface. The screen will then instruct you to replace the baby. After you replace the baby, the weight will display. You can add the baby's weight to a trend screen by selecting Trend and then Enter. With the use of this screen, the baby's weight can be plotted over time. Other factory installed options may be available. Refer to the manual or ask your Omita medical representative for details. Cleaning The giraffe incubator has been specifically designed to be easy to disassemble for cleaning. No tools or complicated instructions are needed and there are no small, unattached parts to lose. Refer to the operator's manual for proper cleaning agents and cleaning instructions for particular components. The disassembly procedure is as follows. First, turn the incubator off and allow to cool. Open the doors and pull the inner wall away from the door. Remove the inner wall by tilting it at a right angle to the door and lifting out. Unlock the hood and tilt back until it locks in the raised position. If the unit is equipped with a scale, unplug the cord from the probe panel and feed the cord through the grommet. Next, remove the x-ray tray, then lift out the mattress and translation deck. Unsnap the rotating mechanism under the translation deck. To remove the tilt platform, first release the tilt lock. Remove the pan and fan. Clean all bed surfaces and components. To reassemble, simply reverse the process. When replacing the tilt assembly, first replace the pivot pin. Then with the slide still in the released position, push the head of the platform down over the metal ball. Slide the tilt lock back to the locked position. Test the tilt assembly to be sure it functions properly. Replace the remainder of the bed. To remove the humidifier reservoir, pull the bottom out and lower the reservoir from the bed. Hold the reservoir under the heater tube for a few seconds to allow water to drain. Empty the reservoir. Slide the lid to open. The reservoir and lid may be autoclaved, gas, or cold sterilized. Reverse the process to reassemble. The air filter is located behind the humidifier reservoir. Use a dime or screwdriver to remove the cover and replace the filter. Refer to the manual for specific cleaning instructions for particular components.